guys to this video of the XBA. We have the semifinals here. We have starting off the Southwest Division co-champions, Nashville Temple and Houston Lawman. They both won their first round matchups, obviously, or else they wouldn't be here. But they did tie for the division crown record wise and Houston got the nod to go all the way up to the three seed. Nashville was the seven against Denver. So both teams may not have been favored to be here at this stage, but here they are. And they're going to start off in Texas. There's Trade Canada, Podgorica for three. Got a 20 to 18 ball game right now. There's Will Carr spotting up for a two pointer. Houston's up by eight now. And we have another three ball in 43 32. There's Alejandro Sanchez for a couple. Durant has 10, Russell with eight. Houston, though, in control, feeling pretty good. It's a little bit tighter now. Nashville still giving up a three-pointer, so they're down by nine. There's a cool alley-oop there to Kevin Durant. Back to 11. McClure with a nice dunk. Patrick Williams firing from downtown. Three ball is good to go. Houston still up double digits. Now they're up by nine, and the double digits again. 11-point lead for Houston. And they're going to get back to the line here. Akamu with the foul. And Houston wins convincingly 99-83. So a good start for the Lawmen. This might be their best situated team that they've ever had. I mean, they've won the one playoff series, I think, as an eight seed a few years ago. But this is the closest that they've ever been to the XBA Finals. I feel like they can taste it. But they're still a ways away. Nashville not dead yet. Game number one here between Cincinnati and Jacksonville. Got the upstart Chili Dogs against the Jump. And Jacksonville off to a bit of a slow start. They're going to tighten things up a little bit here. There's Shaman Hargrove getting his own miss. And then we have DeLon Wright for three. He's actually played okay lately in the playoffs. Not a ton of playing time throughout the season. But Cincinnati will have a 49-41 lead here. Michael Porter with 16. Donovan Mitchell scored 13 for Jacksonville. And now let's say five-point game. There's Marcel McFly for two. So he's starting to feel it there. Here's Mitchell looking for a response. And he'll muscle it in off the backboard. Still an eight-point game. Steph Curry's going to miss from long range. Floka picks it up. And this guy, Xander Pollock. He's been amazing in this postseason. Sixth man of the year material. It's a shame that he didn't win it. 96-91. There's Malcolm Ruka for three. That's good. Cincinnati building on this lead. Steph Curry as time is starting to wind down. Thomas Bryant cleans it up. Still six points. And then with 40 seconds, there's Xander Pollock again. The diminutive guard, Xander Pollock. Scoring 103-93 is your final score and the Cincinnati Chili Dogs are going to go up one to nothing with a home victory. I think that surprised some people, but maybe it shouldn't have. Xander Pollock had 24 points in nine minutes. He saw his effectiveness from three range in this game, and it's just, there's a lot to handle for Jacksonville. All right, in the Storm Center, we got Martians and Cyclones. With about 540 left, game just underway. Porzingis starting off the scoring. Justice Bettis for two. I like what Bettis can bring to the series. It's probably the two best teams in the Western Conference. Maybe, I mean, Alaska, Denver may have had something to say about that, but they're no longer here. So a lot of people might argue that this is the true Western Conference Finals. These are the two big time winners of free agency. Seattle adding Doncic and Garland. San Diego adding Tatum and Anthony Davis. So the clear winners of free agency Somebody's going home in the Western Conference here. 48-45. Bettis can't get that one to go, but a lead here for Seattle. Doncic with eight. Anthony Davis has six and six. There's a block. It's going back out to Basley for three. Even this thing up. And then you got Justice Bettis missing. And then Anthony Davis scoring there. So San Diego in control now. Garland gets his own miss. He'll find... Porzingis with a three. Porzingis had a good series in the first round. And there's Denny Adaya for three. 58-54. Seattle back in the driver's seat. And then he got James Tashi with a long two. 
Darius Garland with 150 left, knocks down a three ball. It's 92-86 right now. Justice Bettis can't score there. And it's going to go the other way here with Luka with about a minute left. Doncic, Aliyub, John Collins, Seattle should get the win if Doncic knocks that down. And he will up by seven. That'll do it. Seattle Martians get game numero uno in the series. It's a road win, so that's crucial. You know, that's always going to be critical. San Diego finding themselves in a hole early. Tatum had 21. Bettis scored 20, but he was 2 of 7 from 3. And that might have done them in. Maybe if he was a little more efficient from downtown. But them's the breaks. Okay, Washington, New York. This is a pretty good rivalry here. You got the Adasik Sadchek head coach against Jared Payton, two of the upstart head coaches in the XBA. And they find themselves meeting here in the conference semifinals. And Washington off to a good start, 9-2 before Mitchell Robinson scores. Make it 11-6. There's Tyler Walsh. Got all XBA written all over him. Got a future star written all over him. 45-41, Walsh again with a miss. And then Frazier. Check that play out. That was pretty sweet right there. Up by seven. Lamelo's going to score. Take it to the hole. 50-45. There's Anthony from downtown. And the City Slickers have made this a game again right before halftime. They were down by a handful of points. Got it back down to a two-point deficit. So that's big news there. Malik has 22 points in the first half. Demetrius Fraser had 13. So you got four and a half here left to go in the third. It's now a two-point game, 72-70. There's Walsh for three. Good stop, 75-70. You got, ooh, who was that? Shamit going to the hole. 30 seconds left in the third. Got the second unit in there. Clark to Wallace. And the rookie Wallace will nail that one. 82-74. Two ball from Walsh is good. 84-74 now. And a two for New York. Ball's going to go against Wallace. 350. Walsh with the lay-in. It's now a 14-point game. Walsh looking for the kill shot. And he will deliver. Their final is going to be 105 to 88. So Washington ultimately put the boot down on New York. So New York had uh, 42 points from Malik Jones. He basically did all of the scoring, and then Walsh pitched in with 36. So not bad. So, guys, we are going to simulate up to game five, unless game four becomes an elimination game. Game four or five as an elimination game so that's where we stand right now we're gonna go for it moment of truth here probably gonna determine the outcome nashville taking the lead seattle now in charge so nashville lost our opening game but they have won three in a row and seattle jumped out to a huge advantage over san diego san diego will at least win game four so i guess we're gonna simulate simulate through game four no matter what i think that was the plan and see what happens there. So we'll show game five of this series and of the Nashville series because that's not an elimination game. So I'm surprised that uh, San Diego held on because that series was going pretty hard for Seattle Martians here. So as we check out some of these scores, San Diego picked up the 101-92 win. Game two goes to Nashville, high scoring 121-120. Wow, Ooh, I outscored Houston by one point in the fourth. Game three went to National 99-88. Durant scored 40 in the win. D'Angelo Russell had 20. And then game four goes to National by 10. Durant had 29, Towns 24 and 11. That was a 108-98 finish. So Nashville now in control of this series. Washington wins game two. 95-93, James Vine had 22-10. and 10. Game 3 goes to New York, 103-86. Vine has 17 points, leading the way there. And I'm interested in Malik Jones, only 18. Marcus Anthony, your top performer in that one, 37 points. Game 4 goes to New York, 89-77. So you get some big discrepancy there in the scoring. Um, overtime win here for Jacksonville in Game 2. Steph Curry with 37 points. And game three is going to go to Cincinnati, 98-90. Markinen with 29. And we see Michael Porter had 33 points in game number three. 
Check out game four goes to Jacksonville, 76 71. Curry with 23, your leading scorer. Xander Pollock, again, the top scorer for the Chili Dogs off the bench. So this is, this is going to be where we're at after four games. And we're going to get right into Nashville and Houston. So uh, Houston's got their back against the wall. We're going back here to Texas and we're going to see if they can stave off elimination. They got to win three in a row to advance. It's going to be a tall order. Nashville seems to have the right stuff this year. Price with the finger roll there. Two point lead for Nashville right now. Durant for three. Knocks that one down. 35 29. Eklund going to throw one off the rim. That's not going in. Going the other way. 35 29. Price with the lay in. Nashville feeling pretty good right now. D'Angelo Russell with the layup there. And under a minute now, Russell scoring again. So Houston coming back down by three. There's Podgorica again for three points. And then Jamal Murray can at least respond there to make this thing back to a three-point hole. So it's 43-40. Nashville's playing pretty well offensively, but Houston hanging around here. Up by seven now for the tempo. Durant going to hit the deck. Watch your knees there, man. 71-62. Get a jumper from Eklund. Now we go towards the corner again. That'll be Josh Green. It's all tied up right now. Wendell Carter falling down. Houston up by one. Nashville takes the lead back with Kevin Durant. Houston back on top. Towns for three points. 90 to 88. Jamal Murray scoring from three range. Get a turnaround there for Nashville. So they are just going back and forth and back and forth. Five seconds left. Season on the line. It's going to be up to Camden Cunningham. 4-3 in the win. No good. And Houston going to go down by losing the last four games of this series. So Nashville takes it. They split in the played games. But the three simulation wins for Nashville. You know, I always hate when that happens. I at least like to have like a little bit of back and forth. But that's just how it goes sometimes. And Nashville going to get the W there. Durant with 32 in this one. Towns with a double-double. So we're going to simulate the Jump and Chili Dogs game five. And Cincinnati gets the W there. Jacksonville is in trouble. There's Xander Pollock with 24 points. This guy is unbelievable from downtown. Like, he's outplaying Steph Curry here in the series. I mean, you have to hand it to him. So Cincinnati now in charge. And we're going to go to the Storm Center. Game number five here, San Diego, Seattle. Seattle was up big, three games to nothing. We'll see what San Diego has in store or if they are going to meet the same fate that awaited Houston. And it's 11 to 6 right now, so things are not looking great. Darius Garland for three, no. Collins will clean that one up for Seattle. Now they're up by a healthy margin here. Get a turnover. It's going to be Bettis to Basley. Basley from the free throw line, 41-35. Tatum with a jumper. So San Diego still alive, still fighting. Three-pointer from half court is no good. And the Martians up by three. So they let the Cyclones back in this thing. We'll see how this pans out. They're still up by five. Bettis for three. San Diego down by one. We get a rebound for Pierre going the other way. Williams Oak to Guerrero. The Oak Guerrero is going to score 65-62. We got a steal. Guerrero. It's now fourth quarter. So that's a big steal. Bettis gets a two. Back to a two-point deficit. And Scalabrini for two. Score. It's still tied game. Doncic for two. Bettis to Tatum. Jason Tatum scores. San Diego up by a couple now. Yet Porzingis off kilter. It's going to be a rebound for Bettis, and he's got somebody. It'll be Scalabrini, and Scalabrini scores. San Diego flexing its muscle now, 86-82. Artie St. Patrick gets bumped there and converts. Now up by six with only 54 seconds left in the game. Not a good omen for the Martians, but they do have some room for error. We'll see if they can close this thing out with a stunning comeback. And oh, so far, so good. Doncic for two. Now Anthony Davis, jumper, going for the bank shots. No good. Collins, rebound. 
chance to score. Porzingis contested, no good. Basley with the rebound, and Bettis will get fouled. And that will do it. San Diego picks up the W here in game number five. Cyclones still alive. I don't think you can count them out right now. You only scored nine points in that first quarter, but they really turned on the Jets to win by seven. And so kudos there. Now this game, I had to separate this into two save files and my original save file was not working. And I actually screwed up because this was game was supposed to be simulated. So my goal was to show this game, the very end of it of what I had, and then we're gonna simulate the next game and whatever happens, happens. But right now, I just want to show you what I had. New York up by two. Washington with a miss. It was 96-94. Malik to Marcus Anthony. And now New York is feeling pretty good here in game number five. It's going to be Portis for three. And no good. Mitchell Robinson rebounds of that one. And Washington forced a foul there. And Marcus Anthony can really seal this here. Vine fouling out. Up by five right now for New York. Oh, excuse me, it was Malik Jones at the line. 194. They still have a prayer, but they're gonna need a three-pointer. It looks like it'll be Walsh or Heald. No, they're going to Portis. Portis, nothing doing. Whiteside, yep, this game's over. Buddy Heald for three, no good. New York City Slickers pick up game five. So because I was supposed to simulate this game show the next one i'm going to show this game and simulate the next one so wait a minute i was supposed to simulate this one and show the next i think you guys get my drift game five was supposed to be soon all right so i didn't have the box score i think i had it oh my god i had it on another file obnoxious okay jacksonville up by four until xander pollock scores there malcolm ruka tying this thing up Actually up by one now. Another big dunk for Porter. So Cincinnati in the lead here on the road. We got a three ball attempt. Steph Curry, good there. Up by one right now. Michael Porter for two. Chili Dogs have the lead. Markinen gets the lead back for Jacksonville. So the jump trying to force this game seven here. It'd be heartbreaking for the Florida faithful if they get bounced by an expansion team in their second year. But I, you got to give it to Cincinnati. These guys are legit. They are big time contenders. I mean, the Porter addition and free agency really rounded this team out. And then McFly and Hargrove play like season pros. You see there McFly with the assist. Tie ball game, 77 all right now. Porter with 19 in this one. Steph to Thomas Bryant. Bryant's looking for somebody. Scott Mitchell for three. And he will drain that one. 80-77. McFly maybe forcing one. Markinen gets it back. He got two and a half minutes to go here. Steph looking around. Steph Curry throws one in. All right. 82-77. Nice behind the back pass by McFly. And McFly again with a big dunk there. It's going to be 84-83 under a minute. And Donovan Mitchell. What a shot made there. McFly with the response. So we're now at about 35 seconds. Mitchell for two, no good. Josh Richardson blocked from behind. How did Markin and not get back on that ball? Cincinnati chance to win this series. They got about 15 on the shot clock. So Jacksonville will have a chance if they do score and they do McFly with the roll. And now we have a one point game, 11 seconds. Mitchell. Got Markinen. Markinen taking it inside. Contested. No good. And Hargrove gets it and sends McFly to the line. This thing's not over yet, but Cincinnati's not even in the bonus. So now they have to foul McFly again. It's going to cost them a second. Jacksonville still has a timeout, so they can call it and get the inbound. McFly makes both. Jacksonville, chance to tie. Got to find Steph Curry. He's going to worm his way out of there. He gets the shot off, but it's no good. And Jacksonville is going home. Cincinnati, Chili Dogs advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals. And I don't think anybody predicted that. But these guys are the two seed. And they just, I mean, they belong. I mean, what can you say? McFly, 23. Porter, 21. Pollock with 12.
And now we are going to go here to game number six between San Diego and Seattle. San Diego has been playing pretty well here on the brink of elimination. They're going to have to win the next two to survive. But here's Davis with a jumper. Seattle was off to a nice start, but now San Diego with that two taking the lead. Collins with a hook. San Diego getting the lead back. Here's Tatum. Big dunk there. Yeah, Doncic. Luca had his pocket picked by Bettis. And now he's got Davis wide open inside and good. San Diego taking the lead. I feel like the series has followed a pretty familiar game script that's been that, about that kind of score at halftime for the third game that we broadcast here. So San Diego up, up now by five. We get a three ball for Luka Doncic. That is good. 75-73. Another one. This time it'll be Abdaya, And he will score and Seattle back on top. Two minutes left. Basley for three. That's good. 78-76. Luca's charging. Gets a green there and ties this thing up. Bettis with 120. And we have a foul. So we get a free shot there for Basley. It's now 79-78. And then Bettis to the hole and up by three now. Luca will score. 81-80. Davis. Bettis for three. And he converts. 84-80 now, 37 seconds. You got 135 now. Luca for three. Good. Seems like these guys got to make everything towards the end of these games. And turnover. Seattle, chance to win this series. Here we go. 12 seconds. They got a look here. Not taking it. Garland will take it back out. Seven seconds now. Garland, he's going to be open. Garland. Finds Doncic wide open. Three. And Luka misses the game and series winner. And I might I, I might have jinxed him because I did say that they made everything at the end of these games. Luka missing there. A chance to ice this thing. Has only missed three of the game. And how about Dennis Stanburton off the bench? XBA2 player leading the scoring. So now we're going to simulate this game because of time constraints. And we're going to see what happens. Because I was supposed to simulate the last one. If City Slickers win, that's what happens. So here we go. It's Washington, of course. Walsh, 23 points. Healed, 18. Frazier was 17. And we look to Malik Jones at 34. It was a 107-95 final. So we're going to have a Game 7 there, too. We're going to show that one here in a minute. But we're going to go back to San Diego and Seattle. We're going to close this thing out in San Diego. That's what winning your division. That's what it does for them. And they got the home court. Cyclones win the opening tip off here. And Scalabrini taking it down to get things underway. You got Seattle going with the blue this time. No purple. See if it pays off. See, if, bold choice. It's a bold choice. Anthony Davis for two to get things underway. Garland taking this up for the Martians. You know, this is big because both these teams. Martians have been a little bit off the radar in recent years, but at the beginning of the series, they were pretty game. They were pretty competitive. And they've had a couple close misses. Here's Porzingis getting blocked. And then you look at a team like San Diego, another team that they've had some heartbreakers missing the postseason in years where they were good enough to compete in the postseason, but maybe they missed the, the tiebreaker by, you know, a half game or, or whatever. And so there's a lot on the line here. And you got to feel like the winner of this series will be the odds on favorite to beat Nashville. Of course, I don't want to sell the tempo short because they've got two studs of their own. So you got to be careful with that. But according to Vegas, Seattle and San Diego winner will be favorite to will be the favorite to go to the XK finals. So Martians in the lead right now, 45-44. We'll start talking about the game here instead of me giving you context let's go 330 left it's an 82 80 game for the cyclones so now we are into crunch time yeah san diego was taking the lead on the third quarter and they still have it right now so 320 big basket here big opportunity coming up if they can get it bettis i think he's taking that he will and bettis scores make it 84 80 get a miss on the other end collins will get fouled by tatum and get to the line. It'll convert there. 84-82. Nice pass. Basley scoring with a jumper. 
86-82. We got two and a half minutes now. Win or go home. Big time situation here. Martians were in control most of this game until late. Garland scoring to get back to within two. Tatum, easy. Easy score there. 88-84. Nice switch there. 91-88. Time is winding. Porzingis will score 91-90. Here's Bettis. Stripped. He loses it. Avdaya has it. And he's charging in hard. And no, he's not going to take that shot. Too much traffic. Finds John Collins to Luca. Luca, about 15 seconds now. Time is winding. Got an alley oop to Collins and score it. Seattle in the lead. Now you got to watch out for San Diego. Couple clutch shooters here, man. Here's Bettis, probably one of the more clutch guys. They've asked him to take these shots a lot. Justice Bettis, five seconds. Here it is for the series. Game seven, a huge comeback on the line. Bettis scores, and the San Diego Cyclones will advance by winning the last four games of this series. And I've talked about it. I've seen Bettis make late shots. We've seen him miss late shots. But he is the guy that they want to go to in these situations. And Luka is distraught. I think he's complaining to the refs about something. He's trying to figure out how they let that happen. But Justice Bettis... 12 points on the night, two threes made, none bigger, obviously, than the last shot. So congratulations to San Diego for coming back down three to nothing. I don't know how many times it's happened in this series, but it, it hasn't happened more than once. It might be the first time. I'd have to go back and look through all our playoff videos, but crazy, crazy finish there in San Diego. Martians are done. Now let's go to Washington, New York here. Didn't have much footage from Game 5, unfortunately. Game 6 goes to Washington. So teams right now just trading blows. It's going to be 40-37 to 37 right now. City Slickers trying to put some distance here before halftime. And they will score there. They're going to score again, make it 44-37. Walsh missing from 3. Well, there we are. 7-point lead for New York. Founders not doing too hot. They're down by 5 right now. Demetrius Fraser right under the basket, not being able to score. Kevin Knox will take it almost all the way. Yes, he will. Kevin Knox scoring. We get another turnover. Malik with a good pass going to LaMelo Ball. And now Washington really starting to feel it. 51-42. James Vine will score. Right now it's 63-57. And we got about 113 left in this game. 65-57. Here's Shamit to Chembanuke. And Goju Chembanuke with a nice score there to go up by 10. See if he can convert the free throw. Not with that delivery. Not going to happen. 40 seconds left here. And time winding. We got a deep two from Jack Dow. Eight point difference. Chembanuke, nice pass to LaMelo Ball. And he will get the roll to go. City Slickers up by 12. Buddy healed for threes. No good. Mitchell Robinson getting the rebound. We got five minutes left and 12 point game. So things are looking dire for the Washington Founders. And they're going to send New York to the line. Get a steal there, Mitchell Robinson. Oy, not, not good. There's Malik. 4 2. Make it 15. Right now it's 11 point game. And New York going to score again. Portis for three. So it's. To at double digits, still 10 points. Lamella with a miss. Walls trying his best to play defense, but just not going to happen. 92-83 right now. Kevin Knox, that should put the finishing touches on this thing. And New York wins game seven. It wasn't that exciting, as are other games, for sure. But pretty solid effort nonetheless. Washington's going to go home in this one. And it just it wasn't that close, really, in the second half at least. I mean, they New York put some distance between themselves and Washington, and they went in seven, so they have been at death's door twice and have come through in game number seven. We'll see them take on the Cincinnati Chili Dogs in the next video, one versus two, and then on the opposite bracket, we have one versus seven, San Diego, Nashville. Nashville's been playing pretty solidly here. Uh, that last series, pretty impressive against Houston, so that one should be fun. So I'm going to combine the conference finals and the XBay finals in the next video. 
and that will be the last video for season number six and then we have our season seven sim so we'll see you guys then we got two videos left to go in the xba series it's been a pretty fun ride so thank you for still being here and we'll see you in the next one